All right, good morning. It is Thursday morning, it is pool day. Um, like I said, I have taken a week off, week vacation, out camping. So today is the first pool day back after a week of doing absolutely nothing. So we're not going overboard, we're not going crazy. We're just gonna do the black band, the X3 black band deadlifts. Then we're gonna do some bent rows, then we're gonna do some curls. Probably do a little pull up stuff and then that's it. We're not doing legs. Legs will be done tomorrow when we do the ground moves and finish off with legs because the ground moves are really leg intensive. So we'll wait to the end of the week to really finish off the legs. So that's it. We're just gonna do a standard bent row, deadlift and curls and a little bit of pull up stuff and then uh, we're done for the day. So let's go. All right, gonna start off with X3 black band deadlifts. Not still 100% confident with the deadlifts at this point still having some issues i would say issues just wake up in the morning your back's a little tender a little tight whatever so i do my stretching in the morning and i really don't want to aggravate anything so we're just going to stay with the black band right now <laughs> 20 good 20 good for a wake up still working on that form keeping it back tight driving with the with the legs and the hips oh. alright next up is that green band green series steel band same as the dark gray band palms up supinated bent rows like i said first week back after uh seven days off we're just going to do it till we're uh, till we're done
16 felt good. What I've really been trying to do a lot recently is get to that peak contraction position and then squeeze that muscle as hard as I can, holding it for like an isometric second or two. Pull up, hit that spot, squeeze as hard as you can, and then slowly lower it down, keeping tight as you can. Come back up and squeeze, re squeeze again. That wears the muscle out so much faster. Whew. All right. All right, next up is uh, bent rows again, except we're doing them pronated over the top. Hands as close as we can onto the neural, onto the bar. Light or a blue band, which is the same as a light gray band. And we're doing the same thing we just did a minute ago, pulling it up, flexing as hard as we can, holding it there, just keeping it flexed while we're slowly lowering it down, and then coming back up again, doing the same thing. Oh. 18 on that. Whew. Like I said before, just come up, squeeze as hard as you can at the top, hold it there for a split second, really flex as hard as you can, and then slowly let that band back down. Whew. It's hot out here. <laughs> Whew. All right, next up is uh, drag curls. We'll start off with uh, X3 style, which is basically, I'm doing it with the dark green band, same as the light gray. The green band, same as the dark gray band for uh, <laughs> the X3. Short bar, and I'm just gonna do drag curls. Just work until I can't stop. Then we'll take a break, and then we're gonna do some wide standard curls with the blue band. Uh, 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 uh. 
<clears throat> oh. Really feel my body overheating in this hot sun, hot morning sun. I was just concentrating on dragging that bar up my body while keeping my elbows back as far as I could, trying to get to that 90 degree where you're getting all of that force onto your biceps to pull your elbows back and your arm up and dragging it here. Not here, doing shoulders, right here, all biceps. And whew, they've pumped up fast. All right, we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna do a long bar with the blue band. Whew, all right. It's about a two minute break, enough time to set this up, catch my breath, refocus, get ready to do it again. Sixteen. Ooh, that felt good. Oh, my arms were starting to go numb. Whew. Whew, all right, that's it. All right, that's it for the uh, hard workout portion of today's workout. I'm not going to video the next set just because it's boring. This dumb. Don't want to waste your time. I'm just going to do five sets of hangs from the pull-up bar in the standard pull-up position, hang for 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna change and I'm going to do five hangs from the chin-up position for 30 seconds. And then that'll be the end of the workout. So just passive hangs, really stretching the back, stretching everything. Probably working on some core here, really tightening the core up while I'm hanging, really work on get my legs out a little bit. But uh, just the passive part, you guys can do this. You don't need a video to watch this or whatever. The rest of that, I was pretty good for taking seven days off um, and doing nothing but uh, eating crap food and drinking lots of alcohol um, and getting a little, very little sleep because I stayed up late and I got up early every day. Um, felt good, felt strong. Um, even yesterday when I did the chest presses and everything, felt strong. I felt strong doing the bent rows. Um, I'm not taking these to total exorbitant proportions right now, it's because you know what, I, right now I'm valuing more uh, flexibility and mobility on my ground game than I am on its overall super strength. If you're so strong, your muscles are so tight, that, but you can't bend over to tie your shoes, you can't get off the ground if you fall down, you can't move around when you're down there, what good are you? You're not good worth anything, especially when you're getting up to my age, and I am, uh, I'll be 58 here in a, a couple months. So yeah, I am valuing flexibility mobility now more important than strength this is going to keep me strong i'm going to get stronger because every time i come out here i take it to the fatigue level and i really work hard at it but i'm not sitting here just really concentrating i'm working it so hard that i'm not gonna be able to move for the rest of the day or any of that i'm just taking it to the fatigue zone pushing as hard as i can maybe doing two sets uh doing it because i'm only doing the push and the pull one day a week and then the rest of the week i'm doing my mobility stuff on the ground which is really challenging my body a whole lot more than this is challenging my body. 
So working in combination together, I'm really liking the combination of the mobility and the flexibility in the ground with the strength and uh, endurance doing this back and forth. You know, for me, it's a winning combination. I really like it, especially as I'm getting older. Like I said, I'm valuing both and I need to do both. So that's where we're at. So thanks for everybody for showing up today. It was a simple back to basic workout. Um, next week, we'll probably ramp it up a little bit, probably get a little bit more deadlifts in there. Um, still feeling a little bit better, feeling better with the back, feeling more confident, but I do not want to go through what I went through several months ago when I really hurt my hip, when I really strained that muscle back there and I could not even put my shoes on. And that's what I'm trying to avoid by doing all that mobility stuff down there. I want to be able to put my shoes on in the morning, be able to put my underwear on when I get out of the shower. And if you can't bend over to do that, then your life sucks. So, and I don't want my life to suck. So that's it for everybody. Thanks for showing up. Uh, next is just my passive hangs and I'm done for the day. Get it done, go live your life, and we will see you next time we post.